Hello, this is Dave from DCM Bioservices. Today we're going to be going over how to purge air out of the syringe lines of the Biomex Span 8 pod. As always, if you don't feel comfortable performing any of these procedures, please reach out to us at service at dcmbio.com and we'll be happy to assist you. Okay, I just wanted to mention a few ways that this can be done as purging the syringes. It, it's probably best practice is to do a, a homing procedure at the beginning of the day or whenever you, before you start using the instrument. This, um, at the end of the homing procedure, the Span 8 will do the purge syringes um, as part of its procedure. So first you want to check to make sure that your supply carboy is full and your waste carboy is empty because you don't want to run out of fluid during a method and your pipetting will be um, not as accurate. So what you want to do is make sure there's no air in the syringes. If you do see air in the syringes, you can run the purge syringe procedure. So we go over to the software, go to instrument, manual control, advanced controls, and click on pod two. This is pod two usually is a span eight. There's two different purges in here. There's one that's purge syringes and purge system. They do the same thing, but purge syringes is what you want to do at this point. Click on this. The pod will go over the wash station for the span eight. Make sure there's nothing blocking the span eight waste station. When you're ready, go ahead and click OK. The probes will go down to the wash station and the syringes will get moving. What you want to look for is any bubbles in any of the syringes here. So just let it run until you have no bubbles within the syringes. Once there's no bubbles here, you go over to the syringe line, make sure there's no bubbles in here. It usually takes about three or four strokes for it to get the bubbles out of the system. Let it run until you see there's no bubbles in the syringe lines. When there isn't, go ahead and click OK. It'll finish the procedure. and that should be good. If you continue to have air in your lines after the purge procedure, it could be due to the fact that there's um, some air leaking within the system. If there is, give us a call and we can uh, help you troubleshoot that. We can do an upgrade to the system, which will cut down on any air. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is, if you have different syringe types, so we have 1 ml syringes. If you have the lower volume ones, like the 250s or the 500s, it, you may have to let it purge a little more because these will only purge one ml at a time or 250 or whatever syringe type that you have. So go ahead and let it purge for longer. Make sure all the air is out of the system and uh, you should be good to go.